Tonight on the show, the guys who are helping me contact whatever is out there in space. We've got Tommy Graven with us, Native American flutist, and Jeff Cooper, the urban shaman, both on the program tonight. Welcome, guys. Uh, Tommy, you are going to uh, play a flute for us. And the reason why I, I wanted a flute sound is because of the fact that they have it on the Voyager disc. Sure. And, and come right on the microphone. I don't think anybody can hear you. Yep. They, have it, they have it right on the, 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 the disc, and, it, and it's sort of a, a simple... I guess you could call it a water sound, that it would be a little bit more like playing the sound of water, a natural sound for the aliens to hear. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, I believe so. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's a Native American flute. It's going to sound good, and I'm, I'm looking forward to this. And then, of course, the man with the big pipes. The man, <laughs> the man with the big pipe is Jeff Cooper, the urban shaman. What are you planning on doing, doing for us tonight? We're going to get some uh, electric didgeridoo going on. We're going to throw it through some effects and some uh, pitch shifting and processing to to take an ancient instrument, the world's oldest instrument, and uh, give it a new sound that hopefully the aliens will grok. Well, yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, when you hear this thing, we were, we were uh, listening to it uh, during the break. This thing sounds like the horns from War of the Worlds. It's amazing. So uh, what I'm going to do is, you know, we're going to go to the bottom of the hour break. We're going to get prepared with our, uh, with our instruments that we're going to use to contact. We're going to clear the channel. That's how we're going to do We're going to clear the channel with some blasts, and then we're going to get the flute to play, and then we're going to have the flute and the blasts to play at the same time. And uh, I'll give you the warning when we're going to do it, because I know that most people, when they hear the sounds of the didge, uh, they're either startled or, or they relax. And uh, we want a little of both. So we're going to... We're going to open the channels, and we're going to startle everybody, and then we're going to kind of calm it down, and then we're going to startle everybody again. We think that this type of pattern is going to open the channels, and we want to get your feeling, too. So if, if you want to experiment with us, that's great. We'll get your calls at 888-673-3700. That's 888-673-3700 as we attempt contact tonight on the radio. It's going to happen right after this. So as I said, you know, get... Your kids, your dog, your grandmother around the wireless kitties, because we're going to do this tonight. 888-673-3700. Tommy Graven with us tonight, Native American flutist. And Jeff Cooper, the urban shaman, to contact whatever may be out there in the cosmos. 888-673-3700. We'll be back with more Ground Zero. Don't go away. FM News 101 KXL. Tonight, contact night. We're going to make an attempt to broadcast a number of blasts and a flute. And uh, all of this is some from some of the most primitive instruments, the ones that, of course, are, are natural sounding. And this is why we're doing it, because I believe that uh, if we combine the power of all the transmitters that are broadcasting this program, the 300 transmitters that are broadcasting this program, for those of you that are in your trucks tonight that are driving, you can also use the CB radio to just kind of key up to what is on the radio, and uh, maybe find a channel that you can do it on. and uh, And we're gonna we're gonna do this because if if all of our radios combined, and you can even crank it too if you want, that'd be another thing to do. Is not only do we have the power. This is kind of like Horton hears a who, make noise, make noise, and then you know if somebody's not doing their part, then you know we have to go find that little boy and have him go yap yap yap. Yeah. Anyway, so tonight we have with us Jeff Cooper, the Urban Shaman. He's the guy that's going to start things off tonight. And uh, what we're going to do is he now, once again, I'm going to have him come on and tell us. Okay, so you got a didgeridoo. Tell us what a didgeridoo is for those of us that don't know. Well, it's a it's a tube, basically. Um, 40,000 years ago, they were using hollowed out tree limbs. Uh, termites, they eat the core of these tree limbs. And they were blowing through them to make these sounds. Um, and uh, today we use a lot of different other materials from agave cactus to uh, to, to metal poles uh, to carpet to leather anything 
to make a tube. And when you blow that raspberry through the tube, you get that ancient sound that we've all got 40,000 years of memory stored in our DNA of. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's exactly why uh, I, I chose the didgeridoo for tonight, because of that fact. It resonates with the cells, it resonates with the body, and then with all the vibration that's coming from this broadcast tonight, it will resonate. I believe it will resonate into the heavens, and it may get the attention. Now, here's the thing that you may want to do tonight, for those of you who are listening. If you're driving... You may want to pull over and relax when we do the blasts because uh, it, it'll either startle you or it'll relax you. You do two blasts, and then of course we do a long blast, and uh, and then of course when we bring uh, when we bring Tommy on to do the flute, the flute will be there to kind of soothe it. So what we do is we get their attention, we give them a little bit of nice music, and then we blast them again, like we we made our statement, and then we blast them again. And uh, also some of the things that you can do too, like if you have a way to look outside. Look up into the sky with the radio turned up and see if anything, uh, if any of the lights in the sky move or you see UFOs or you see uh, something come down from the heavens. This has happened before where, you know, if you're really focused on doing this, if you're focusing, if we're focusing all together about contact, if we're focusing all together about getting a message back, we will. It'd be lights in the sky or an experience, some sort of out of body experience or something. This is something that will happen with what the experiment that we're doing tonight. We're going to do. So I'm going to tell you now that what we're about to do is our intent is to contact whatever might be out there. Our intent is to send a signal, a very loud signal out into space with all the combined powers we have with the transmitters across this country, with those who are broadcasting this program over the Internet and onto transmitters all over the world. We want to send a message out to whatever may be receiving the message, whether it be aliens in our solar system, whether it be spirits in the spirit world, whether it be satellites, old probes, maybe some of the things were talked about by these mathematicians in the UK. Who knows? Maybe even the Black Knight satellite, because, of course, uh, weren't you, like, monitoring its movements today? Yeah, yeah. I was. Yeah, there's a website that actually tracks where it's at as it rotates around the Earth. And so it was over the Atlantic when you saw it today, right? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. So the Black Knight is out there. There have been a number of people said they've been getting communication. A Pepsi commercial, of all things, was uh, actually tracking it. It's called decoding the Black Knight. So uh, once again, I'm going to give you all. I'm going to give you a countdown. I think is what we're going to do. And I'm going to count down from five, and then uh, we're going to do a couple blasts. What I want you to do is I want you to do a couple blasts loud blasts and then i want you to do a long sustained blast and then we will have uh the flute afterwards we'll have tommy come on and we'll talk to tommy and then we'll get the flute and we'll send that out and then of course we'll do one more couple blasts and a long steady one and then i think that should be enough and then we'll have we'll get the box out the cube out and see if we get anything going on up above us but in the meantime let me give you a countdown and jeff will then take out uh, the didgeridoo and he will play it okay Give you time to calm down, give you time to think, give you time to relax, kick back, lay back, look up in the ceiling, maybe, who knows. If you're in your automobile, maybe pull over. If you're driving and you have to drive, you know, keep the volume at a level that it won't cause you to sleep or, or be startled. If you want to, as we said, great ideas to maybe key up on your CB and have the other truckers hear what you're doing if you're driving a truck. Okay, so let me do the countdown. Ready? Five. Four, three, two, one. So give us a call at 888 Tell us about what you were sensing when you heard that didge. 
And so now I'm going to move the microphone over to Tommy, Tommy Graven, Native American flutist. And so tell us what you're about to do tonight, because I know that this is uh, another, um, it's another uh, ancient instrument that, of course, uh, the aliens would respond to or whoever's other would respond to. Because now tell us about what the Native Americans used to do. They used to use uh, a lot of instruments to try to raise the spirits. Tell us about that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it, um, a lot of it w- was actually focused around the drum, you know, for a lot of ceremonies. Um, but the flute is definitely incorporated. This Native American flute, lots of stories and legends behind it, but this is actually typically supposed to be like a love flute from the man to the to the woman. Fantastic. Yeah. Good. So, All right. So now uh, Tommy is going to play us uh, some of the music that uh, we're going to send out there tonight. So uh, uh, just kick back, relax, and, and listen to this beautiful music played by Tommy. Here we go. Tommy and uh, the Native American flute. Uh, very, very beautiful. So now we want to combine both the didgeridoo and the Native American flute. And we're going to send that message out. And uh, so we're going to turn the microphones over to both uh, Jeff and Tommy to do that as well. So here we go. Okay, 
So you've had the experience with the flute and with the didgeridoo. And coming up, we're going to do a couple more blasts as we finish the, the break. We're going to come back with a couple more blasts to get the attention to close out the communication process. Get a few phone calls. And then Roger Clouton will come in with the black cube. We'll be hooking up to the board to see what kind of response we get as we scan the skies for broadcasts. And it's going to be amazing to hear this as well because we're going to be able to hone in on a lot of crazy broadcasts that are happening out there tonight. 888-673-3700. That's 888-673-3700. And we'll be back. FM News 101 KXL. Um, Sound like aliens talking? Well, yeah, it's just a weird thing. And then, of course... Listen to that. Hello. What's up? What's up? Who's out there? That, that, lo- that lower voice, man. I wish we could find a way to get that isolated. out of there. It's very isolated because you can hear him talking to us. Who's the lower voice? Hello. Hello. Who is it? Remember that one said he was from Neptune. Yeah. Neptune. Are you? Neptune. 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 <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. You guys are talking about me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey, what are the odds of that? I don't know, man. I'm Clyde Lewis, and this is Ground Zero. Numbers to call tonight, 888-673-3700. That's 888-673-3700. So what we have, from what I can see, is we have instruments that are very, I guess you could call them primitive instruments, that are that were used anciently. That when people hear them, it takes them into a state of mind that they're not used to. So we've had some very interesting comments about what they felt and so we hope when we send these messages out into the cosmos we wish to have an extraterrestrial repeating source much like what tesla claimed to have had or marconi claimed to have had back in the 1800s and so i know that there's some people out there that may question the validity of this but it is an experiment uh, that uses a lot of basic communication uh, tools, much like they have at Arecibo, Puerto Rico, uh, Pine Gap, Patagonia, all these areas where they have messages being sent out. There's METI, uh, the, the messaging of extraterrestrial intelligence. So we are, in a sense, messaging with the sounds of the Earth. That was the whole point, using the sounds of the earth to message out, to send out a message. And then what we developed, what uh, Roger developed, was a, I guess you'd say, a variation on the ghost box, which is called the Tesla box. But we call it the black cube because he encased it in this huge, <laughs> how big is this cube that you have? I mean, it's, it, the, the apparatus itself is smaller, but you house it in this huge cube. How, cube. How big is the cube? Three by three by three cubed. Now, what made you? <laughs> that's why you did it. <laughs> yeah. Is that why you made it that big? Yep. We were. Um, he he said to me that he was going to bring the cube in because he had used it. He had put it together. He said he was going to bring the cube in, and so he brought the cube in. But we had to get a hand truck from engineering to bring it in, and, <laughs> and so it it was like we we had to carry it in, and then. It wouldn't fit in the office. It was so big. Wouldn't fit in the freight elevator. It wouldn't fit in the freight elevator either. And so the security had to get us to, you know, had to, had to get us to, you know, like, scrunch it into the elevator, get it out, and then now it's sitting out here outside because it won't fit in the studio. 
Wow. So we, yeah, so we have. Uh, By the way, your freight elevator is worthless. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Did you turn off your microphone or something? No. Oh, no, there, no. okay, wrong microphone. There you go. Yeah. Because uh, we, you know, we have to share a microphone over here. We were going to get you to go over to the other side, but you got to play your flute, and then you can go over to this side and listen if you want. Good deal. So yeah, we got uh, Tommy with us and Jeff. Uh, Tommy Graven is a Native American flutist, and Jeff Cooper tonight. They decided to stay with us because we want to do this again. We yes. want to do this again. Yeah, Neptune is just starting to get yeah, rocked Neptune. by the Neptune. I don't know what the Neptune. hell that's all about, but <laughs> I mean that that really blew me away. Neptune. I couldn't believe it. We said Neptune, and then we heard the word Neptune again. Uh, and so tonight, uh, that's what we're doing is we're uh, doing communication, and we're inviting you to participate in it with us. And so we decided that since we did it, so we we didn't do it the first hour, we did the second hour, and we didn't do it the third hour. So now in the fourth hour, we're going to do it again. This time we're going to do uh, some more experiments with the sound. And that last one you did, that last blast, I want you to do, this time I want you to do a blast using those effects that you did. Mm-hmm. You got it. Yep. And uh, so I want you to do the blast. And then I want, once again, for him to do the flute. And then we'll do the flute and the, and the blast together again. And then immediately after that, we'll go to calls. And then we'll go back and we'll get the box started up again. We'll use the box the rest of the night and do phone calls the rest of the night. So uh, we got Jeff Cooper. On didgeridoo, and we're going to uh, fire it up again. We're going to let him have uh, a few minutes to do whatever he wants to do. Have you know, do your best art. That's all we can ask you to do tonight, Jeff. Are we uh, are we hooked up? Yep. Okay. Yep. Ready. Go. So, so do your best art. Do your best way. Just communicate. I mean, I know you've done this before in McMinnville. Communicate with the beings that are out there, and that's what we want to do. So we're gonna. I want to do it again like we did before. I want to set everybody up for this. Uh, if you're in your car, pull over to the side of the road. If you're laying back in your bed, just kind of lay back and relax a bit. If you're if you want to dim the lights a little bit, you should dim the lights a little bit. That's something you should do. Uh, you're not on the board yet. We'll get you get you pretty much there. But anyway, uh, just kick back and relax. If you have a radio, you can spread it around. Crank your radio up. Look outside. If you can look outside and, and maybe look up into the sky and see if anything's out there, if, you've exper- if you have an experience or something, that's what we want you to do. So I'm going to do the countdown from five, <clears throat> and then we're going to turn it over to Jeff, and then we'll do another countdown of five. We'll turn it over to uh, Tommy. So here we go. Be ready. Okay? Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Just amazing. Yeah. That was, <laughs> yeah. That's, awesome. That's great. Top that one. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, that was great. That was great. So, okay. So now we get to have the calming tones from Tommy uh, playing a flute. And, and this, this would be a nice, relaxing feeling. Very beautiful. From the earth to the sky. From the earth to the sky. Exactly. So now these are the sounds of the birds, water, uh, some of the softer sounds of earth. Here we go.
Tommy Graven. Ah, oh, amazing stuff, amazing stuff. So, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a break. And then when we come back, we're going to have the flute and the didgeridoo play together. And then we're going to open the box up again with Roger Cluton. Take your phone calls as well. 888-673-3700. That's 888-673-3700. I'm Clyde Lewis. You're listening to Ground Zero as we attempt contact tonight on Ground Zero. Let us know what your experience, what your experiences have been tonight. It's an amazing experience for us. We, uh, we've had some spiritual experiences. We've had some shocking experiences with the box. And tonight, it's your turn to tell us. 888-673-3700. That's 888-673-3700. We'll be back. FM News 101 KXL. This is Ground Zero on FM News 101. Welcome back to Ground Zero. Hey, I want to tell you, Comic-Con's coming up. Wizard World Comic-Con. And uh, we're going to give you tickets to go to Comic-Con. Uh, two tickets to go. 17th through the 19th, you'll be able to check out some very cool people at the Comic-Con. Cosplay, gaming, all that. We'll be telling you how to win tickets. In the meantime, tonight, we're uh, we're doing a contact session with uh, Tommy Graven and Jeff Cooper tonight. And uh, the didgeridoo and the flute, you heard both. In the last break, this time we're going to play them both together again. They're going to do a duet again, and uh, it's going to be amazing to hear this. And then we're going to be getting your calls and also using the box. Uh, if you want to talk to the box as well, we want to talk to the box because it's been freaking us out all night long. But in the meantime, I'm going to do a countdown again, and uh, then we're going to hear we're going to hear from uh, both Tommy and Jeff tonight. And uh, let's just get the microphone over here to Tommy. And uh, five, four, three, two. It's just completely amazing right here on Ground Zero. We're going to go to the calls and uh, find out uh, what uh, people have been experiencing right here on Ground Zero. Let's go to, uh, let's see, let's go to Mary in Utah. Hi, Mary, you're on Ground Zero. Go ahead. Again? Yeah, it's okay. Mary. Hi, go ahead. Hi. Hi. Hi, Clay. 
today my husband and I were in the car, um, and we were listening to a Christian radio station, and they had been talking about why some people don't believe now, and I thought in my mind, why was I born? People were thinking, why was I born? What is this? But I thought that in my mind, and all of a sudden, when they went to a different subject, I heard Mike, which is my name. It's Mary Michael, but they, everyone calls me Mike. And it said, Mike, Jesus knows why you were born, and you are on the right path, and never doubt yourself. And I didn't say anything for a minute, but then I looked at my husband, and he heard the very same thing. I said, did you hear Mike? And he said, yes. And nobody else was calling in. It wasn't calling in time. And then they went back to what they were talking about. And it just made me realize that we are all connected to God, all of us. And I just got goosebumps, and I felt such love. From Jesus and God, I didn't feel like it was an alien, though I do believe in aliens. But this was a message sent to me, and my husband heard it at the very same time. And uh, when I heard you playing the music with it, it just... I got tears in my eyes. You know, we, we are all interconnected. Everyone and everything intimately and infinitely interconnected. That's that's always what I put into my ditch playing. So I, I'm really glad. Yeah. That's amazing that you heard Mike. It's amazing that you, you know, you felt that. Let's, let's go to Mike in Washington. Hi, Mike. Hi, uh, Clyde. Yes. Yeah, hey, uh, that black box. Can I say something in the, or toward that black box? Because I heard, I was thinking of my brother real heavy when you guys were playing that. And I heard distinctly my name twice. Okay, hold on. Somebody else heard Mike too. Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna go to the box. We're gonna go to the box uh, after the break. We're gonna go to the box after. That. We got we got Mike on hold. Mike, we're gonna bring you back after the break. So if you heard your name, we heard uh, this this woman also heard Mike that called from Utah. Uh, now we have I guess people heard Mike, uh, but we heard Neptune. We certainly <laughs> heard Neptune. <laughs> <laughs> Mike from Neptune. Uh, Mike from Neptune. You, yeah, go ahead. You're on ground zero. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's too weird. It's too weird. Okay, we're going to get the box set up, and then we're going to come back. And by the way, for those, for anybody out there who's listening in Oregon tonight, call us at 888-673-3700 to win tickets to go to Comic-Con. It's happening at Wizard World Comic-Con. that will be happening on the uh, 17th through the 19th. We'll get you tickets to go. Just call us up at 888-673-3700. That's 888-673-3700. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's a whole lot of people there. Michelle Nichols is going to be there. Josh McDermott from The Walking Dead, which, by the way, The Walking Dead starts again this Sunday. Woo-hoo! Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Josh McDermott's going to be there. Uh, Tatiana Maslany. I can't even say her name. Maslany. She is, for those of you who don't know who she is, she is the woman who plays all of these characters in a television show called Orphan Black. Oh, God, yeah. Isn't That's she great. amazing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Probably one of the best actresses out there is going to be at Comic-Con this year. I want so badly to meet her because I am just, I mean, I am just a fan. And, and, and even the other actors are great in that, in that show, including her brother, who is actually not British and not gay. He's American. He's a damn good actor. And he's a damn he good actor because I tell you what, <laughs> when I found out that he, you know, it was just an amazing, amazing show. Anyway, Orphan Black, Tatiana's going to be there. Josh McDermott's going to be there. Ponch and John are going to be there. Eric Estrada. Uh, I, it's going to be there. Estrada. Yeah, Estrada. <laughs> Eric Estrada is going to be there. Um, and uh, the Chips guys. I don't know. I, they're probably because that new movie's coming out called Chips. I don't know if you've seen the previews. It looks hilarious. So yep. a lot of cool things happening at Comic Con, Wizard World Comic Con. That'll be at the Convention Center, the seventeenth through the nineteenth, February. We got tickets for you right here on Ground Zero. Triple eight six seven three thirty seven hundred. It's triple eight six seven three thirty seven hundred, and uh, be our first caller from Oregon. And we'll get you those tickets. Triple eight six seven three thirty seven hundred. We'll be back with more Ground Zero. Don't go away. Derek McCall just won tickets to go see uh, all the cool people over at Wizard World. And uh, you're going to be there too, right? We're going to be there. Bells on, all kinds of cool things going on. 
I figured that uh, the way to end the show tonight would be appropriate if uh, we could get Jeff again to take us out with some didgeridoo playing. We'd like to thank Tommy. Tommy, thank you so much for being on the program tonight. We had a lot of fun with you here. Thank you very much. I appreciate being here. Oh, it was, it was great. And, and uh, do you play? Where do you play usually? Well, you know, I'm actually in, I'm, I'm in the middle of recording my kind of debut Native American flute CD. Um, so I'm not really out in the public right now, but I, 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 okay. have, I have a website that you can come and What's the website? check me out. Gravenmusic.weebly.com. Okay, gravenmusic.weebly.com. <laughs> And Jeff, I know you're working on some things too. Uh, what exactly are you working on? Well, we got a, a video that we just finished producing. We're going to have a release party for that video coming up soon and a new album in the works. Um, this May, we're going to go into a recording studio and record a whole new Urban Shaman uh, album. We're going to have different guest artists on every track. Uh, might even get some Native American flute in on this track, apparently. So, <laughs> yeah, buddy. Collaborations fantastic. are happening. Fantastic, that's for sure. fantastic. And Roger, of course, the ghost. Uh, what is the, the ghost convention out at Seaside? We're going to be out there too, and that's coming up, I believe, in April or May around that time. Uh, I think it's in May or March. Yeah, March, April, or May. Well, we'll get you more details, but we're going to be there out at Seaside speaking. That'll be great. You got another uh, investigation under your belt too, right? Can we do it? Yeah, we're, I'm working on one right now. All right, fantastic. Roger Cluton. Of course, thank you for the cube, Rog. It's really awesome that you brought that out. I think it was really amazing. I have never heard anything so amazing in my life as that box tonight. I really oh, appreciate it. it in. What's that? We're getting it tuned in. Yeah, we're getting it tuned in some more. It, it's an experiment in progress. That's what makes it so awesome is that it is an experiment in progress. Okay, without further ado, uh, we're going to uh, have uh, Jeff take us out with some more Didge. And uh, here we go. Uh, stand by. Here we go. There you go. FM News 101 KXL.